Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a Johnny Walker Blender's Batch Espresso Roast here on my cask. It's a quite a cheap bottle, slightly above 20 euros, dollars, pounds, but it's only half a liter, so a little less than the standard bottle. And it has 43.2 ABV. This is a little more than the standard uh, Johnny Walkers have. And uh, this is one of a series of experimental blends from Johnny Walker. And uh, this is a Scotch whiskey from an unusual experiment using heavily roasted barley. So the barley is not only germinated, but it's roasted with notes of rich coffee and intense dark chocolate. Uh, and here, a small story, short story. Eleven years ago, my colleague started a series of precise experiments in distilling malt whiskey using barley that had been roasted more heavily than ever before. The results were incredible, rich, dark chocolate notes with an intensity I'd never experienced. I began working with this malt whiskey and balancing its distinctive roasted notes with other whiskey flavors. Whiskies matured in refill casks brought great distillery character, rejuvenated casks added a light spiciness, and first filled bourbon casks ensured a subtle vanilla sweetness. The result is Johnny Walker Blender's Batch Espresso Roast, a deliciously rich and smooth blend that works brilliantly served neat in an espresso cup. <laughs> a Gibson blender. This is Amy Gibson. Yeah, um, there are several of these experimental whiskies from Johnny Walker out on the market and they are intended to show people what's possible in whiskey making. And this one is a blended whiskey, means it's a mixture between grain whiskies and malt whiskies. Yeah, have a try. Fruity like a space cider. And there wasn't any sign of pitiness, of smokiness in it. Which is typically present in the more expensive bottles of Johnny Walker, but this one is slightly above 20. So this is more mass compatible, and there's no uh, smokiness in it. A very light vanilla note, so the numbers of first fill ex bourbon casks might not be that big, and how high the amount of grain whiskey compared to the malt whiskies from several distilleries is in there, no idea. And there is a spiciness coming through, already showing there's more in. It's intense. Quite intense. Mm -hmm. Spiciness kicks in, really. And there is this espresso note, really. Not really bitter, but this dark, dark chocolate note which is in some sort of coffee and spiciness in the front of my tongue, quite intense. But the maltiness is missing. It's a light oiliness from the grain. So this shows really espresso notes. Yeah. The aftertaste is quite long still working through my mouth, but the, the bitterness typically for tannin, rich oak wood matured grains uh, is not there. So this is better casks, those rejuvenated casks, those first filled bourbon casks, and this roasted malt, which gives the, uh, the spiciness, the espresso note, but not the bitterness from the tannins. Yeah, well done. And uh, well, this is one of a series of a, <laughs> several ones. I think I had already one, hadn't I? Together with Ben, I think. 
with the Johnny Walker Red together. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. As always, there's more to come.